Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and we are still playing Baldur's Gate Tales of the Sword Coast. In the last episode, we killed some stuff, uh, killed some winter wolves, and reunited some sort of demon with his devil dog, and they teleported away, and I looked up the reward that I was supposed to get, and it wasn't very important. It was like a plus one staff or something. So I didn't bother cheating and give it, giving it to me. It, it's not... Not important in the slightest. Now, let's look at the map. We have Durlag's Tower, which apparently, I, I looked it up, because I, I wanted to be sure if I could handle such a thing. I didn't want to waste your guys' time. Durlag's Tower would be a horrible, horrible idea, because that is a very high-level part of the expansion. So, because there's normal Baldur's Gate, and then there's Baldur's Gate Tales of the Sword Coast. And until we're higher level and can handle such a thing, we're not going to go to Durlag's Tower. But, we still have these mountains over here that had, when we went in the Nashville Mines, there was that, that exit over here in these mountains. So we're going to go over there and explore the rest of that. Yep, so ready. let's do it. Let's travel over to these mountains that have no name. The No Name Mountains. All right, we made it. Sweet. Let's let's go exploring. Simple enough. Go ahead and quick save. I don't want to have to travel again. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of cacti over here. This is the place where we fought those people. This guy's being attacked by kobolds. Oh, I well, I can handle kobold easy enough. Please, no! Don't let them get me! Please! End told. Ah, who are you? Don't kill me, please! I'm so sorry, I'll give it back, just don't kill me! Settle down, sir, settle down. No one here's going to kill you. Tell me what your problem is. Well, my problem? My problem is the horrible death replaying in my mind! I cannot concentrate, my mind is... My mind... I didn't mean it, I'll give it back! You! You can take it to him! Here, give it back! I'll help thee, but what must I return? Who should I return it to? A cave! It's but a short ways east. There was a grave. I opened. Oh, by all that's good, I disturbed its lonely slumber with my foolishness. It haunts me, and I get no rest and sleep. Please, I shall go mad if it is not returned. Take this dagger to the tomb. Okay. I can do that. Hen told. Whoa. I'm being attacked by a skeleton as well. I don't appreciate that. Alright, attack that skeleton. Go for the eyes, Give us Go for the oh, there are several skeletons. Minx, don't take damage. You idiot. For right. You have a really large shield. You shouldn't take so much damage from arrows. Why are there so many skeletons everywhere? For right. I... Minx, come on, man. Okay. Oh, hey, is that the cave I'm supposed to go in? Alright, well. Let's heal. Minx took so much damage. That was dumb. Minx, why would you take freaking 23 damage in a battle with a bunch of skeletons that give no experience? You're pathetic. And you shouldn't be in my adventuring party. Okay, that's a lie. He's, he's pretty awesome. I think I'll pick up these composite longbows. They're worth money. And I will pick up the arrows, so I don't have to buy more later. Have I already gone in this cave? I feel like I've explored this cave before. Whatever, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, Minx is healed enough. I don't care about those kobolds. I think this cave is new, so I guess I'll go in it. Let's quick save now that we've done that. Oh, wait. I want to see what dagger that person gave me. It's just a dagger. I want to identify that dagger. That seems like a good idea. Minx canned me that dagger. Uh, and then take this off. Identify. It's just a plus two dagger. Nothing special. Okay. I stand ready. Quick save. Let's go in. Let's see what's going on. You travel 
down a long tunnel to a group of three burial mounds. And that is a revenant. Okay. Dagger! You have the dagger! Give to me! Now can rest. Rest forever. Uh, before you give us the dagger, you should give us something in return. Why not? You will not give dagger. If not give dagger, you die. You okay. Shall hmm? pay. okay, kill it. Uh, stop talking. I want to kill you. Weapon ineffective? Oh my. Okay. Yes? Use your powerful melee weapons, then. Cast magic missile on it. Oh, goodness. Return to your grave. Don't kill Minsk. This isn't good. Minsk, move. I'm not giving you the dagger! Go away! Hey, we did it! We got 3,000 experience for killing that guy! Awesome! Khalid leveled up. Okay. I stand ready. Well then. With ease. I killed him. Which means I have a plus two dagger. I don't think giving him the dagger would have gotten me as much experience. I don't know. I kind of want to load and see what would happen if I gave him the dagger. I think I'm going to save right here and I will cut to me giving him said dagger. All right. All right. So I'm going to give him the dagger this time. Let's see. Let's see must what happens. Revenge. Yeah, must revenge. Whatever. Take your dagger and leave us alone. At last, the dagger. <gasps> and I, I only got 900 that time and I lost the item. Okay. So, I prefer the other way, so I'm going to load, and we will do it that way. I don't know if I could have killed it earlier in my adventuring career, though. Let's heal up Minsk. Keep healing Minsk. And let's search for traps. Let's, let's quick save. Now that we've healed Minsk a couple of times. Heal him one more time. I don't see any traps, so I guess I'll... Okay, it's just a gold piece and a potion of invisibility that I have no room to carry. Alright. Get that. Okay, quick save after looting that. And sh let's have somebody with more inventory search this one. More money... And a potion of freedom. All right. Hmm? Well, that was Probably. certainly interesting. I had a little mini quest there, and I got to keep that plus two dagger, mm -hmm. so I can sell that. All in all, it was, it was pretty good. It was a good time. Ankeg? What? Attack it! My blade will cut you down to size. Whoa! These things are supposed to be really hard to kill. I think. Oh dear. Yeah, Emma Wynn just took a lot of damage. Okay, we killed one. Let's see if we can't kill this one. How much experience did you give me? It didn't say yet. Oh, 975. Alright, that's not that bad. That's, that's a winter wolf of experience. I believe Ankeg Hide makes really good armor. And hey, Sir Wombat leveled up! Hmm? I didn't know Ankegs existed out here. You learn something new every day. Okay. Yes. It cool. Be done. Uh, more healing spells, I guess. I stand ready. Cool, let's pick up that Ankeg hide. He also had a ghoul touch scroll. Ankeg shell. Let's give the Ankeg shell to Minsk, because he can carry it. How, how heavy is it? 
I don't know. Let's read about it. The Yankhag is a burrowing insect-like creature between 10 and 20 feet long, found mainly in forests or choice agricultural land. They are covered with plates or shells made out of a substance called chitin, which is extremely tough and very light. The size, weight, and strength of the shells make them highly sought after in many situations, including the creation of armor. So yeah, we're we're totally gonna make Enkeg armor. So we have lot we have four people who wear heavy armor. There we go. And that one had some gold. Yes. Okay. Well then, quick save. That was really cool. I feel happy that we did that. Even if it did do tons of damage to Imowen. Keep exploring. And, once again, if nothing happens for a while, I will just jump cut to something happening. You know, I could... Let's let's check if there's anything beneath this area. We will travel somewhere and then... Oh, there totally is. Okay. But never mind, I don't want to do that. Not yet, there's still stuff to explore here. Stuff to cause me to level up. You know what, if you're going to be using melee weapons, you should equip your shield. It's a good idea. There we go. Yes? At the moment, why not have my frontline guys using their melee weapons? But in that case, I should give these bracers to Imowen. Make her better with her bow. I stand ready. Anything up? Oh, skeletons. All right. Stupid skeletons. Ugh. Why do you exist? Get out of my life. With barely any experience. Oh, another cave. Okay, I'll go in there. Come on, kill it. Just hit it. It's a pile of walking bones. It shouldn't be that hard to kill. Okay. Well, I quick save. Let's go in here. Oh. Interesting. A group of three burial mounds, and now I'm in the third one. So let's let's kill these ghasts. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear. What's? That's not good. Um, these guys are casting whole person on us. Minsk is dead. Well, I'm gonna load. As you can see, mm -hmm. I cut out that loading time because it wasn't important. Let's make everybody use their missile weapons again. At least these guys. And pause. Switch everybody back up to where I want yes. them to be. All right, let's go in. And attack. Alright, we killed one already without taking any damage. That's already better. Minsk! Minsk, come on, man. Alright. Kill this last one without dying and you get a treat. Come on, Minx. Okay. Minx is alive. I have no more healing spells, though. So he... We just have to wait. In the meantime, we'll pick up stuff. Money. Minx, you're in the way. There's money on the ground, and I can't yes. get to it. Stop being held, Minx! Cold person, slow poison. Ooh, I could animate dead. Let's do that. Yeah, I made my own skeletons. This is why I like this spell. You get your own things. Your own useless things, apparently. Okay, Minx, you're okay. You're nauseated. I'm not sure how to get rid of that, but I think you'll be fine. What you want? Imowen, how much room do you have in your inventory? Not a lot. You know what? Let's give some potions to Bronwyn and this to Bronwyn. And you can attempt to... Let's quick save. I don't want any traps to go off. A green stone ring? That's not very useful. A wand? Ooh, alright. 
I could always use a new magic wand. And some nice chainmail and arrows and stuff. Oh, goodness. Alright. Okay, your inventory is full of useless crap. There. Which means Imowen can pass on the stuff that needs identification. As well as pick up a potion of frost giant strength? What does that mean? Unnatural here and I want no part of it. This group shows promise. What, you don't like being here, Imowen? Right, quick save. Chainmail armor. Let's look at this frost giant. It lasts for 10 turns, which I believe a turn is 10 rounds. So that's a long time. Strength of 21. So that's really cool. Awesome. I don't know if I'll ever use it. I'll probably wind up selling it. Now I guess we should identify things, huh? Let's identify the wand. Of monster summoning? Oh my goodness. Summon 12 hit die of monsters which appear within the area of effect and attack the user's enemies. They remain until the spell duration expires or the monsters are slain. These creatures vanish when slain. If no opponent exists to fight and the wizard can communicate with them, the summoned monsters can perform other services for the summoning wizard. Cool. I want to use that at some point. That sounds awesome. Hmm? All right. Well, let's leave. Be done. Let's just let's yeah. get out of here. Not a problem. Minsk is still nauseated. I don't know how to fix him of that. I stand ready. Can you drink a potion? Alright. Hmm? Quick save. I want to go up this mountain. Not a problem. So let's do that. My skeletons didn't come with me, sadly. Probably should have saved that for a better time. Let's go, people. Up the mountain. Never mind. What was that? Oh, okay. That was... Ugh, that sound gave me the shivers. Apparently that was just Minx stopping being nauseated. That literally sent a chill down my spine. What is this? It's like a magical rune. Hello? Narcilius Harwillinger... Har Narcilicus Harwillinger Neen. Hello, pal. Come quickly! You are just in time for my experiment! What kind of experiment are you attempting? Oh, he has a lot of words. I believe I have developed a spell to empath empathically control any gelatinous creature and bend it to your will. Slimes, jellies, oozes, all these things that foul the cook's cellar and the adventurer's dungeon can now be controlled and eradicated with an ease and efficacy never before seen in the history of the realms. It takes an entire hour to gain such control, but that time will be minimized with further experimentation, I am sure. In moments, that hour will be up for a small number of mustard jellies that I have released into the nearby woods. We shall soon bear witness to the results of my endeavor. Are you mad? Experimenting on creatures and then releasing them into the wild before witnessing the spell's true effect? Yeah, I want the spell. I've worked for years for this, and you seek its benefits in mere seconds? Nay. You not only seek them, you expect them. The spell is mine, and you'll not take it from me. Come, jellies, let us make our mark upon the world. Okay. What? Let's kill him. Alright, he's dead. I don't know what a mustard jelly is, but... Weapon ineffective... And it has magic resistance. Alright, so, Imwin, you use some good arrows. Bronwyn, uh, I guess you can Hello. do that. What you can cast magic missile. Fight and you guys stand ready. can switch it will be done. to good but weapons. Can I help you? I'll do my best. Okay. Let's see what happens this time. Magic resistance. Alright, well, they don't seem to be doing much damage. Let's cast uh, another chromatic orb. 
Oh, it's magic resistant. Duh, that's silly. And yet you need magic weapons in order to kill them? Alright, well that- oh my goodness. 2,000 experience for these things? They're not even doing anything. Well, alright. I'll accept all of that experience. And this guy dropped some mage robes. Ooh, Denny Air could use some mage robes. Money. Oh. Ooh. And a bunch of scrolls. That is exciting. Give those all to Denny Air. Let's quick save. There are monsters about? Yes. Where? Oh, stupid skeletons! Okay, I just fought a bunch of skeletons. Frickin' annoying. I would like Denier to add these spells to her spellbook. Okay, that one worked. Quick save. What about this one? Worked. Quick save. She already knows that one. And now she knows web. Awesome. Quick save. Cool. So in that case... She knows a bunch of new level 2 spells, so that's awesome. And a level 3 spell, Lightning Bolt. What does that do? Saving throw, level 3, range. Upon casting the spell, the wizard releases a powerful stroke of electrical energy, then inflicts 1d6 points of damage per level of the spellcaster. Cool. To each creature within its area of effect, a successful saving throw. Wow, okay. Oh, wow, that's a dangerous spell. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes when I eventually use it. Let's keep exploring, shall we? After killing that guy in his mustard jellies. Instant Ogrelin. All right, kill him. Oh, dear. I don't want Minx to die, and he's kind of dumb sometimes. We'll see. I did just quick save, didn't I? All right, everybody attack that one. All right, he's dead. That one's just standing there like an idiot. Oh, the AI in this game is so good. All right, Bronwyn can take some damage. Cool. Quick save. Man, there's just a smorgasbord of enemies in this area. Minx, you pick up stuff. You have inventory. Hmm? Not a problem. Bronwyn also has inventory. You pick up stuff. Quick save! Hello? Wasn't that delightful? Hmm? Okay, we took some damage. Bronwyn took a fair amount, but whatever. Do I want that gem? Whatever, I guess I do. Yes? Money is money. Alright, so I just fought a bunch of skeletons. I found the last Barrow Den. However, it's one that I believe I've already been in because it's on this side of the map, which is where we've already explored. But I'm going to go inside and we will see. Not a problem. Yeah, I already came in here. It's completely mm -hmm. empty. Alright then. Well, I guess that's the end of this episode. We explored this entire area. I'll probably rest up off camera and head into that next area in the next episode. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button if you did like it. Subscribe for more videos. I update as often as I can. And